This is my 1980s era Sears X Cargo box. Um, and I just want to do a quick walk around video. Um, if you're thinking about buying one of these off of Craigslist or something like that, this might help you. Uh, just to know how it works and what to look for. Because uh, this one's in good working order. So, um, as you something I see people ask a lot is. Uh, how do you strap this box down? And I've got these crossbars, and I've put these U-bolts in here, um, these little silver U-bolts. And on the other side, I just have washers and wing nuts to hold them down. Uh, the straps are there just as a secondary uh, hold down. You could just use the straps also. Um, I've got two little padlocks on here for the side, and then there's a latch on the front and the back. There's a hole you could put a padlock on the front and the back also, but I just think that's kind of overkill. Um, and those latches won't come undone. Uh, and as you can see, you've got hinges on the side here that hold it up. And just one bolt in the middle, and I'm actually going to be taking those apart today. Oh, you can see those uh, wing nuts down there in the bottom holding those U-bolts. Um, so I'm actually going to take it apart today because I'm going to replace that foam you see dangling down there. It had really old foam in it when I first got it. And I replaced it with this like window seal I got at Lowe's. And it just, as you can see, it just did not stick at all. Um, so I went back and got some, some different insulation tape that's a little bit wider and not quite as thick and a lot stickier and it worked great and once you take the top off you have this cool little basket here where you could strap stuff down and have a, an open carrier and that's something that you can't do with a lot of these new uh, cargo carriers so I thought that was pretty neat so it is something to consider if you're buying one of these off a of Craigslist um, or you've got one that's been sitting in an attic or in the garage for years is that the foam that was originally on these boxes which I'm pretty sure when I got this one it had the original foam on it um, was like I don't know if you've ever experienced old foam before but like old black foam tape when it gets really old you just touch it and it turns into dust but yet the sticky backing is like still on the box uh, or still on the plastic box top itself and that was a bitch to get that stuff off um, so here I've already done that and I was just drying it off but if you're getting one that has the original uh, foam still on it just know that it's gonna take some time uh, and I even use this turtle wax like sticker removal stuff uh, you can get at the auto parts store that really helped um, but it's still, uh, you gotta get all those little bits and pieces off of there or when you go to stick the new foam on there, it just isn't gonna sit right. And actually, you can see this one, I peeled it off and stuck it back on because I uh, didn't have the foam all the way up to the lip. This roll of foam tape you can find at Home Depot in the heating and air conditioning slash ventilation aisle. Um, it's two inches wide by an eighth inch thick and it'll be in a little cardboard box um, and it says uh, Armaflex on it. It's basically, it's used uh, in heating and air conditioning to insulate pipes and stuff like that. So it's super sticky so, and it's the eighth inch thick, that's all you really need. There's only a small gap around uh, the edge. Um, so this works perfect. So now getting the box lid back on is a little tricky with one person, uh, a lot easier with two but you can do it. Um, you just have to slide these hinges back into the slots here, they're like little hooks. So you get them hooked on over the edge, get both of them hooked on and just flop it over. Then the only thing you have to do is bolt the hinges back together and you are good to go. So hopefully that helped you out if you're looking at one of these on Craigslist and just wanted to know how it worked. Uh, if it did, if you could just uh, give me a like, 
maybe comment. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.